So this is what I'm going to use to glue it together. We've tried uh, experimenting with various types of glue and sealant and uh, silicon sealant seems to work well. So this is just general sort of uh, kitchen, bathroom silicon sealant. Um, I'm just using some, uh, some waste half tubes here but you can get it in the, uh, in the pound store. Um, so very cheap. And uh, I'm also going to use some uh, standard sellotape. Um, you could use um, you could use duct tape. That's probably better if you had some a um, bit more waterproof. I'll probably finish it off with duct tape. So here I'm going to apply a thin bead of silicon. to the surface. And position it like this. The same on the next one. and position it like so. And for the end, the same thing. Now one thing to bear in mind, is this uh, glue is only as strong as the foam we're gluing onto. So we're not going to rely totally on the silicon here. We've also got to bind it with tape to make sure it's uh, secure and usable. she goes together. Now I'm going to make sure the edges are perfectly lined because this remember is the inner box and uh, it's got to fit perfectly inside the, uh, the outer layer. Now I'm going to uh, apply some tape to uh, just support it while it dries. Okay, that's a general idea. What you need to do is, of course, um, tape all around the box and then leave it to dry for, I would suggest, about 12 hours. Okay, so here I've finished the uh, constructing the inner box, and uh, here you can see it. Taped up around the edges, and just uh, we're just waiting for that to dry now. And you can see here how the lid drops on there.
Okay. And here you can see we've completed the whole box. Two layers, all taped up, and it's just got to dry now.